hello class third student i am your english teacher as today we are going to start with a new chapter from a grammar book as today we will study about sentences and its kind follow the chapter a group of words that conveys a meaningful sense is called a sentence a group of words that conveys a meaningful sense is called a sentence every complete sentence is made up of two parts and namely subject and predicate as as children when we used to join many many uh, words then we Ma then it makes a meaningful sense now read what is a subject subject names the person place or things the se sentence is about subject is a thing when we take the name of the person or any place or the name of anything like car pencil pen person name like neha riya rahul ram and place taj mahal agra delhi lucknow these come these type of words come in subject a predicate a predicate tells what the subject is or does whenever we do anything or we join anything that thing is known as predicate like see the example uh, as example is given below the children are playing football this is a complete sentence now see the children is a subject and are playing football is a predicate like playing is a, an activity what the subject is doing okay now see the next example uh, nisha sang a sweet song nisha is a name of a person and sang a sweet song is a predicate predicate is something what Ni nisha is doing now see the next paragraph as given in your book the above sentences the children and nisha tell us about the person so they are subject now see the next example flying kites and sang a sweet song tells us tells us what the subjects are doing so they are predicate whatever activity is being done by the person is known as a predicate now uh, see the kinds of sentence sentences sentences have three to four kinds now read about the kinds there are four kinds of sentences declarative imperative question exclamatory 